So we're going to put this thing over here. We're going to find the sweet spot where this, the slat is. Call it the sweet spot. And then you're going to drive this baby down. All right, right there. And what you're going to do, I'm going to get another olive wrench, right? And you're going to lift it up a little bit. And then you're going to lay it down the olive wrench like that. And then you're going to tie Gonna take this uh, the Allen wrench come over here, and then you're gonna take this bad boy up. The Allen wrench, kind of tight though. You wanna go up. You wanna make it nice. This Allen wrench in space. You you use this like a space, so push it and kind of a little bit tight though, but it should, it should be fine. So that's what you want space like that and uh, and then you tie this baby up and tie this baby up over here again use a knot driver make it a little bit tight and you're good and then you take it in and you look. You got that space that you're looking before, remember? Alright, so we're gonna put this coupling back over here, right in place. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go over there. Okay. You get you get that nice uh, get the screw put that like that way then just snap the screw in here wire stripper. I'm gonna fix all of this stuff wire over here. And uh you gotta be careful when you do this. Cause you gotta go nice and slow around and then you push it up. Alright. Then you get this one over here.
Okay, so phone is gonna get snuff for me. Okay, over here you get. a basis electrical problem over here which you're gonna do all the white they go together and since you got a solenoid valve over here you're gonna have to wire one of this black wire which will be to the solenoid it doesn't matter if, which one you get there's only two black so one has got to go to neutral Everything's got to have neutral. Okay, and this is power, and this is neutral over here, too. So, again, neutral over here, too. Everything's got to have neutral. one too I'm gonna do this again I'm gonna trip this one again this some reason this uh, my, my thing over here is too tight Just loosen this thing up a little bit. You see the right side? Yep. That's the right side. That's the right side, dude. do so where we are over here solenoid valve there's two black wire but one has got to go to common I mean neutral so I'm gonna pick this one over here all right so this one's got to go here too so remember all the white go together Got the last one over here, this one. Right, so pretty much all the white together. Got the white one over here. Here. Hopefully. Hopefully, uh. So I got all the white ones, black and silly the two black with the, and the only thing I got is this control, control everything, the igniter, the silly and the motor at the same time, because this is, this control is uh, the old style, cheap control, 
you know, now they use the Genesee, everything is called separate board. This one they use everything. Nothing wrong with control really. Basically I kinda like it. So I see some of this control 20, 25 years. Never had a problem. Now the Genesee control. Sometimes you gotta go back and replace it again. Got all kinds of problems with those controls. Alright, so everything seems to be fine. This is the 8184G, that's why it's wired like this. Everything's gotta go to one motor, solenoid, nitro motor. So we we'll see now here. Yeah, where's my knee pad? Yeah, yeah. I don't have my knee pad. What is it? Oh, no, no, no. I know. I know. I kind of got this over here already. This one over here. Okay, we're going to run this baby up. Because everything's wired up. Thing is free there. Nice assembly off and check the and corn, make sure it's nice and clean. And, uh, I don't see nothing else wrong with it. Let me do that. 